Bob mentioned this, just the idea that, you know, you can't replace what the NIH does and with what other right. government funding does for some of this research. But how does that play into it, the partnership between private philanthropy and what the government does spend? How do you see your role? Where does that fit in? And what, what kind of projects do you try and take on? Well, if you look at what's happened with the development of drugs in the last 10 years from them, I would say that somewhere over 90% of the drugs that have come out in 10 years, the NIH has been involved in some part of every one of them. So you have concerns, either of you, about NIH I th I funding think, being cut? I think, you know, the NIH, I, I think, and maybe I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're, they're not the big risk takers that they used to be. Mm. You know, that's done by DARPA and, and others. Uh, so uh, I think that it's the job of the private sector to be more of the risk taker in, in, and using some of the basic research and, and taking that to the next level. And, and it's sort of like a partnership that turns out that really works. 